Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. The Genesee County Habitat for Humanity hosted the annual Show Me the Money financial literacy event for adults today to kick off tax season. The free fair, sponsored by the State Bank and Consumers Energy, is designed to help community members learn more about financial resources in Genesee County. Organizers say the goal of the fair is to learn how to start off the new year right and be more knowledgeable about credit scores. So we have seen a lot of folks uh, because of COVID, obviously, who are behind and delinquent on mortgage uh, and those types of things. So we, we are seeing uh, more numbers than we ever seen before. Habitat for Humanity says there has been more concern about finances this year because of the pandemic and the conflict in Ukraine. Lawmakers joined a panel in Flint to discuss the impact of voting rights and crime in the black community. The Cathedral of Faith Church sponsored the forum as part of a Black History Month empowerment series. The panel addressed topics like crime and voting legislation. Congressman Dan Kildee spoke about how legislation is needed to return human dignity and undo race-based sentencing decisions. Pastor Keon Thompson, another member of the panel, says that voters want to see action. They don't want to feel like they're being used for a vote. Now here's John with a look at your weekend forecast. Thank you very much, Jason. We've got your forecast as we're going into the overnight period, and we'll show you what's coming your way for Sunday. Mostly clear to start tonight. A few more clouds working in as we go past midnight. That's going to be at a cold frontal boundary. Temperatures will drop us back down into the 20s. As we go into your Sunday, we'll get numbers back for most into the low to mid 30s. A few flurries, possibly a few snow showers going to be on the very low end. I think most of us will just see a mostly cloudy sky condition. Wind direction will change, though. We're southwest tonight, looking more from the northwest as we go into the day tomorrow. Seven day forecast staying generally quiet as we go into the next week. Possibly a few snow showers Tuesday and then again into the day on Wednesday. Overall staying quiet. Possibly another storm system we'll have to watch as we go into next weekend with temperatures back near 40. In the first Warren 5 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.